Hi, if you use uh, RetroArch on iOS or iPad to do N64 emulation, you might have noticed that a couple games are uh, really glitched out in some places. One of those is Pilotween 64. Um, I've, I've always been frustrated by this bug. It's, um, it's often called the shadow glitch. And it's just where uh, when you fly over any piece of land, it's gonna render this completely opaque shadow right below your player instead of down on the land, um, just like that. And um, <clears throat> I won't make you stay for the whole video. Uh, the way you fix this is you're going to go into the Glide N64 uh, configuration settings. Then you go into, uh, you go into the settings here, you turn frame buffer emulation on. What that's gonna do is it's going to make the shadow transparent. Uh, this also fixes the menu in Vigilante 8. But then to fully fix the issue, you have to turn this setting on. This is GPU shader depth right. Um, and if you turn both those on, it fully fixes this. I'm gonna show you a couple other games that are bugged out and what those uh, glitches look like. So Vigilante 8, you'll see that the menus are all messed up here. This is one of my favorite N64 games. Super fun. Um, I'm gonna uh, choose the robot lady because she starts out in the desert and the roads are all messed up in the desert level with these settings turned off. Um, okay, here we go. So you'll see how uh, these roads are incomplete looking. And then there's just got a lot of like shadow and texture flickering in this area. So that's one other game. Uh, a third game that gets fixed by all this is uh, The World Is Not Enough. Uh, I'm just gonna use a save state to go directly into that, uh, the first level. And you see, I'm going through my inventory and there's supposed to be an icon that shows above the words in the uh, lower left corner there, but there's not um, because of this issue. And now here, it's supposed to show the weapon that I have um, and you can see it if you aim up, but then it kind of disappears <laughs> and it's, it's obviously sorted in front of the windows, but nothing else. Um, so anyway, uh, if you turn on those settings, it fixes all of this. I'm gonna show you that it does. Uh, and by the way, this is a 2020 iPad Pro. So if you have an earlier iPad, uh, some of these settings, they may not work the same. I don't know if uh, all of Apple's GPUs have um, have supported the features that they're um, they're using here for a long time or not. But um, <clears throat> anyway, let's skip right to that hang glider level, and I'll show you that the shadow issue is fixed. Another game that this fixes is Mario Golf. It has black textures that render on a lot of it. See, no shadow issue. And you can see the shadow is down there where it's supposed to be. Um, anyway, it was amazing to finally fix that. I, I've always had to use a full on computer in order to play these games, you know, the way that they're supposed to look. Uh, if you're using a Mac, by the way, then um, the thing you wanna do is just not even use the Glide N64 core. For some reason, it has very different performance on the Mac, meaning worse. So see how the, the road, it's now totally correct. And then, even on native hardware, there's gonna be some shadow flickering and, and weird texture stuff. But, I, but all of that is basically rendering correctly.
And then if you have this at, um, if you have, have this at 1x in the native resolution factor, I think everything basically looks perfect. Um, the way I have it set up here is I have integer scaling on and, um, and it's set to overscale. That's why it fills the screen. And then I have this as my uh, viewport resolution, which is not the same as the render resolution. Um, and then to show you the rest of the settings in case you missed them before, I'll just kind of scroll through these. You want that optimized setting turned on because that fixes Mario Kart. But um, yeah, I'll just show you the one last game, 007. So I see you can already see the symbols and now you can see the appointment card. And you'll see that it renders the, the weapon that I have equipped. So all of that's fixed. There's actually only one game that doesn't render, right? And it's only in a small area um, using these settings. It's uh, Tony Hawk 2, and it's just the um, the menu wheel at the very beginning uh, of uh, Pro Skater 2 there that um, still isn't right. And I'm not sure uh, if any setting could fix that other than just changing it to use the low level emulation. But um, anyway, I think that'll do it. I hope that helped you out and hope you have a great day.